we are the, probably the most affected of European airlines in terms of the Russian airspace closure. Uh, you know, before the pandemic, we had carved out ourselves a niche of connecting uh, Europe and Asia via the short northern route, via our Helsinki hub. And Russian airspace was a big part of that, a uh, big part of the shortest elapsed time uh, for, for customers. There's unlikely to be a return to overflight of Russia in the near future. Do you agree? Well, that remains to be seen. Unfortunately, there is no end in sight uh, for the Ukrainian war at the present time. And there's nobody who can really say that how long the Russian airspace closure will prevail. I mean, it can be two years, it can be five years, it can be ten years. Uh, we have taken the conclusion that we don't guess about that. Uh, we adapt to the reality of Russian airspace being closed, which means that we will need to renew our strategy. Exactly. What is the new strategy? <laughs> so uh, we are working on that. Uh, the first response from our perspective includes that we are pivoting our network to West. We are increasing flights to US, uh, setting up new routes like Dallas, Seattle, also increasing in Southeast Asia, increasing, for example, in India, a new route to Mumbai. So you have announced this new business class seat. It's not herringbone or it's not reverse herringbone or any of the others. It's a fixed shell that doesn't recline. Correct. So there's a lot of comfort, a lot of privacy for our customers. It's called the Air Lounge. Yeah. We are the launch yeah. carrier for that one, together with our Collins Aerospace, who has created the, the seat. And, uh, you know, with cushions, you can, you know, make yourself comfortable in the seating position. When you get the arm, arm uh, leg rest up, then you get full 180 degree sleeping experience. It's beautiful. You need to try it. I, I'm looking forward <laughs> to trying it. It's not the sleeping bit that I'm thinking of because I'm, you know, you're going to be flat regardless. It's that when you want to read or eat, that sort of gentle recline just this far back, not all the way, but just enough to be in the lounging position while you're eating. Or in a, how do you do that on a fixed shell where it, it will cushions should be turning and swimming? No, 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 no. That, that is not the way it works. Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's designed beautifully. So it, you can, you know, adjust your position with pillows. And, and the beauty of the seat is that there's no mechanism, there's no motor, and it uh, weighs less. So it's a very sustainable solution. So when you decided to go into the market for this, what did you say to Collins? To them? I mean, uh, what did you say about what you wanted that, that they were able to say, well, we'll have to design something new from scratch? Well, a couple of years ago, we, we made the decision and we stated that we want to be a modern premium airline. We want to be authentically Finnair. We want to be sustainable. Uh, we, we want to be different. We want to differentiate. And this is what we are doing with this seat. So it's a very courageous choice. Correct.